So hey guys, welcome to Appalachia's Homestead. Welcome into the kitchen, super late. Ladies, it's one of those nights, it's one of them days where it's like pushing late dinner bedtime status and you've gotta throw something quick and easy together because you don't wanna run out and grab something. Who wants to do that these days? Yes, everything's going. And we're gonna try these quick rolls. I love this recipe and I think you need to try it out if you haven't. So let's get started. So James is preparing the uh, wieners and kraut. Yes, we're having wieners and kraut, quick mashed potatoes and what else? Uh, some peas, couple little side dishes, quick and easy. And I'm gonna make these rolls. These are from, you will find uh, the, the original video um, that I'm referring to at Whipperwill Holler. Okay, out in Arkansas, I know a lot of you ladies probably all already follow them. They've got a great channel, a lot of really neat cooking recipes and dishes. And I'm going to refer that channel uh, to my Nana, and here's why. I'm going to try out, which I already know how good these are going to be, but we're going to show the three ingredient rolls, hot rolls, okay? Very simple, quick, and easy, especially for you busy working moms out there. This is what I'm talking about. I used to sit and watch my Nana make rolls like this. Now, here's the thing. When you ask her, how does she make them? My Nana doesn't have like a written recipe. So this is kind of good for you guys out there to have kind of a written idea. And then you can go whip up how you need, whip a Nana how you need to with the recipe. So here are the three ingredients. My Nana is going to love this video. Okay. She's just going to love this. Nana, this is for you. Okay. So you're going to have self-rising flour. If you're from around here, it's self-rising flour, okay? So that's gonna be your self-rising flour. Then you're gonna use mayonnaise. That's what you're gonna get. All that yummy fat and yummy stuff comes from the mayonnaise. So it's gonna be mayonnaise. And then you're gonna need some milk. I buy whole milk. So we're gonna go through the process of how to make these rolls. And uh, we're gonna pop them in the oven while everything else is cooking up. And we're gonna have a quick supper tonight, okay? Are you with me? Let's roll. No pun intended. Don't look at all my junk up here. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to sift my flour. Okay. My flour. <laughs> I'm being silly. I'm going to sift the flour. So it's going to be two full cups. I'm just going to do a quick sift. I like to kind of do that. It kind of just makes everything a little bit poofy, a little bit brighter. Okay. So I want to let you know that I have my oven preheating right now at 375 degrees. So my oven is warming up. I have my little muffin tin here. I'm going to get me another one. I need another one because I'm making muffins and all kinds of little things. There's that muffin recipe from the other day. Just so you know, I added a little bit of cinnamon to today's batch and pecans. Delicious. Do it. Okay. So we're back to this. So I'm going to sift two full cups of your self-rising flour, whatever you've got. Okay, see, the cat's excited. She wants a roll. And then I'm going to add in three heaping tablespoons uh, tablespoons of your mayonnaise, okay? If you make your own homemade mayonnaise, even all the better, right? So that's what we're going to be working with. And once we get that worked in, we're going to start adding in the milk. All right, so all I'm gonna do is mix in. Here's my professional tripod. This is what I set like <laughs> upside down <laughs> pineapple slices. This is how it really gets here. <laughs> but listen, so I'm gonna mix in the mayonnaise, work it through, okay, just the best you can or whatever, and then we're gonna pour in half the milk. That's what she does on the video. Looks great. And she just keeps working with it. And then she finishes off pouring in the rest of the milk. So you kind of have to work with it a little bit. And then we're going to go from there. What I'm going to do then is then I'm going to spray my little muffin, my little muffin tin over here. I'm going to spray it. And then we're going to bake the um, rolls in the oven for about, I don't know, 15 minutes. If I remember correctly, that sounds about right for this. At 375 degrees. So make sure you have preheated your oven, okay? Let's get mix a mix a mix a All right, so I've done the first half. Now I'm putting in the second half cup of milk right there, and we're just going to continue to mix it up. Now, 
If you're really good at this stuff, you'd have a doe whisk like she does. You know, I don't have a doe whisk. Did you know that? We didn't grow up eating a lot of um, bread, homemade bread in my family. We did cornbread and biscuits. So it was really, um, you know, me learning to make a lot of bread recipes came a lot later in my life. And, you know, I love making breads and things like that for my family. Because, like I said, my Nana will be the first to tell you, uh, they didn't have, they didn't do that. They didn't, they just didn't. They just made simple cornbread and simple biscuits. All right, this is mixing up wonderfully. So just keep working with it. And then we will plop them in the muffin tin. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we have our tin here ready to roll. I sprayed it with Baker's Joy. We're gonna pop it in the oven for around 15 minutes. It's already preheated, like I said, at 375, and we're gonna see how these roll. The good thing about little videos like this and recipes like this, very basic, very easy, is because it is teaching you, me, all of us, especially younger faces, how they can cook at home how they can work from their pantry. You know, it's not feasible to just run and go get your burger all the time. It's very expensive also. So it's important to learn how to use things in your pantry. The reason we're using self-rising flour, flour, <laughs> is because it already has salt and baking powder in it, okay? So you don't have to worry about eggs, you don't have to worry about yeast, you don't have to worry about all that sourdough and all that jazz to make these rise up and be so yummy. So this is what I'm saying. Three simple total ingredients, which most people have in the home or have in the pantry. And this is a side dish to a wonderful quick meal at home that you made. Or better yet, hopefully your babies are making with you so they can learn too. check it out look there aren't those gorgeous okay mine took closer to 20 minutes so while we're telling you about 15 or so just eyeball it you're gonna know they pop right out every single one of them a perfect dozen it's gonna be a mighty fine meal I will put the original video down in the description with the three ingredients guys you've got this down pat right yes yes and I'll also add in my video uh, where we've made mayonnaise biscuits now that is my Nana's recipe she loves all that stuff she loves all kinds of things made with mayonnaise so Nana this is for you we appreciate you whippoorwill holler for a wonderful video and suggestion for everybody guys ladies girls but babies get in the kitchen Get in the pantry. A great meal awaits you. We appreciate you being here. Like, subscribe, and share. Hey, we're ready to eat. We'll see you on the next video.